are here at Margam Castle for the Heroes and Legends event. We've got a stall, we're going to promote Whovians and also we've got a Q&A. So hopefully people are going to turn up for this. Um, which is basically Mr. the cast and crew of Whovians! Um, very soon we will be showing you the um, never before seen since yesterday if you, yesterday if you weren't, it's still exclusive today um, preview of the new web series We'd like to introduce everyone here and uh, talk a little bit about how the series came to be Please can you all welcome uh, Rhys Jones, uh, the director, writer, executive producer and editor Thank you, no prompting from me um, Teres Edwards, writer, executive producer. And then we have Matthew Ford, which is a writer and executive producer. We have Rob Meelins, one of the principal cast, who plays Bradley. Um, then we have one of the guest cast, Hannah Kaelin Griffiths, who plays Jen. Uh, followed by Andrew Machin, uh, who plays Liam. Uh, uh, ben Wilson, who plays Andrew. Okay, we'll move on then. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, Terence and Matthew first of all then. Um, please can you tell us all, and everyone's here today, a little bit about more about how the show came to be. Uh, obviously it's a little bit of inspiration as fans of The Mad Man in the Blue Box, but what else inspired it and how long have you actually been in development before you've started filming? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, but we've been working on this for about two years. The idea came from um, basically I'm allowed to say me. Is that all right? From me. Um, it came from me. Um, basically, I came with the idea. Um, I was in Cardiff Central, and they were filming um, the Christmas special, Christmas Invasion, all the way back in 2005. That would have been, would have been five. Yeah. I was walking through town, and they were. It was an August evening, and they were filming at outside uh, Howl's. Howl's, right outside. I had to check the name of the shop. But that's good, isn't it? That's about it. Uh, so there was filming a Christmas invasion outside there, there's big people running around, there was all Christmas trees blowing up, all kinds of stuff. And um, what caught me by surprise, because I'm a big fan, I always have been since I was a kid, I was kind of amazed watching it myself, but what I found amazing was there was people sat behind um, the barriers with deck chairs, flasks of tea, notepads, you know, and I realised that these people go and follow the filming around all around the country and they just go along and film and the security guy was talking to them and knew them by name, their lives, their background and I just sat there and I went well there's a story there, there's a short film there and so I basically, I've been coming up with the idea around around my head um, but the actual version that we've got here because the idea I had was to make a short film about those people and not to be insulting to them but to show fans as who they really are um, passionate people, you know um, we basically sat down, these two guys didn't know each other before I sat them in a room. Matt is an old friend of mine from university, he's a very successful writer, Tez is a very successful writer and an old school friend. I put them in a room, said to them, I want to make an idea, I want to make a show about fans, about fans, for fans, about this show, that's actually just about normal life. However, this normal life involves dressing up as Tom Baker, but yeah, at the same time, it's your normal things that go in your life, your dramas of your lifetime, you know, it's, that's basically where it all came from. As I say, um, it's a little bit longer than that, and then I kind of realised myself that obviously you've been working on it, and the idea's going back a long, long way. Once you sort of got to the point of, of being able to film, sort of how sort of quick did that process work, and sort of a case of actually getting on with it kind of thing, rather than talking about it and putting it on the net and nothing happens for so long, or whatever. Well, the initial... The initial plan we had was um, trying to get something together for the 50th anniversary in 2013. Um, but due to certain circumstances, um, we weren't able to get anything ready by that point. And it got towards the end of last year, and we realised we're now in a position where we can actually get this made. You know, the scripts are in a good place. Uh, to get the casting out, get it all sorted. We started casting in uh, April. Um, we started filming in June. And we've got a month left of filming still to go. Um, but it's been about seven or eight weeks in actual production, but kind of more than two years in actual genesis of it. I think we're all very, very blown away by um, the reaction we had to it, you know, we thought, oh, it's just a little thing that we'll make just for ourselves, and suddenly it's become 
more what it is now. You've been to sort of various locations on the shoot, um, some of which you've been showing on your show reels there. Uh, any familiar ones for us to look out for? Uh, Bad Wolf Bay. We filmed the whole sequence down there. We were very lucky. We had people dressed up as aliens running around like idiots, um, firing laser weapons that don't fire lasers. They were actually, you know, spray painted water pistols. You know, very Doctor Who. Um, that was a great day. It was a boiler hot day. That was one day. What else were we? Where were we? Doing? We filmed uh, in the civic centre, so around by the museum, which has been used several times. Uh, the uh, Alexandra Park, so the National War Museum uh, monument as well. Uh, uh, where else were we filmed? <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing about the nice thing about it is, if you are a massive Doctor Who fan, there will be locations that you'll think I've seen that both in Classic Who and New Who. Um, things to watch out for there. Where else have we filmed? It's it's a blur. It's a blur. <laughs> um, we haven't actually got down to the bay yet, have we? We. Every time we've tried to film, <laughs> I'll try and contain myself. Every time we've tried to film down the bay, because obviously Doctor Who has got the connection to Torchwood, there's always been something going on. Um, what is it? Food and Drink Festival? Triathlon. Triathlon. And the Summer Beach. Is it going to happen? Are we going to film down the bay? Spoilers. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've kind of covered this, but um, just again, when when did you actually start filming? What was your kind of first day day of filming? June seventh with Victoria. Uh, it was a very simple shoot. Uh, basically, it was Victoria walking down the road, uh, talking to her mum's the character's mum. Um, we, you know, and that was it. That was June the seventh. And we weekends, it's been evenings. It's a non-profit film. Um, there's been a lot of favors called in. Seven eight weeks into the shoot now, we've got another month left of shooting. Um, so yes, uh, we're, we're, we're very busy. These guys have not been paid to act. They're good though, they're good though. Um, see, that was good, that was good, that was good, that was good, that was, shut up. Next weekend we've got a full pack weekend. We've got Bradley's episode played by the lovely Rob here. His main uh, uh, shooting schedule is that weekend. We've got another busy weekend afterwards then with Ben, who's cycling around all around the city. He falls off his bike and does all some kind of comedically funny things. Uh, you know about that, right? Yeah, you do. There's no stunt double, right? We can't afford stunt double. Uh, but yeah, basically we're just busy. We haven't stopped. We haven't stopped. Do you now feel you've got that kind of final wrap date in sight then? Yes, the end of the month. The last shooting day will be Sunday. I'm looking at you. <laughs> August the 30th. That's when I'm allowed to stop filming. August the 30th, we will stop filming. We will cease and desist. To Andrew first then, please. Um, what a surprise. Um, what can you tell us about your character, Liam? Uh, obviously, not too many spoilers. Liam is... He's a nice guy. He's very sweet. I mean, when I first read about the character, the breakdown that was, that was sent out to everyone, I sort of felt that it was... A lot of it was very relatable to me and the way I am in my life. I mean, he's... He's just young and naive and he's sweet. He'll do anything for his friends and his love for Doctor Who, you know, knows no bounds. He's, he, does, he goes and watches filming as much as he could, can. And, you know, it's, he's just a really nice guy and he's, he's, he's a really fun to play as well. I just really, I've enjoyed playing the part as much as I, you know, as much as I enjoy playing any part, but there's something different about Liam because he's very much me. But yeah, he's, he's fun, he's a lovely guy. Tell us about your character, Andrew. <laughs> well, Andrew is the uh, sort of eldest of the uh, of the Hoovian lot. He's sort of the uh, he's, he's kind of he, he's kind of like I don't want to say leader, but you know he's, he's very much kind of the, the nice guy who makes sure that, that everyone everyone looks after. They always ask Andrew for advice whenever something's going on, and uh, in his current in his particular episode, he is having a very bad day. It's just one of those things where anything could go wrong, and yeah, so, so but again, he's a nice guy, he'd do anything for anyone, particularly his friends, and his uh, yeah, that's it. Can you tell us about your role in the series, um, in front of and behind the camera? Um, okay, so I play Jen, who's not like one of the main cast, she's kind of like um, a guest cast member. Um, she's really cool. <laughs> Again, like, I think like Andrew was saying, like, I relate a lot to Jen, like, she's like massively into like Doctor Who and comics, and um, um, she's really cool, she's weird, she's feisty, she's like really, I think she's, she's sassy. Um, I hope I can just pull that sass off. 
Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> so yeah, she's, she's a really fun, great character to play and I think um, works well um, with everyone else, I hope. So um, yeah, like you said, I also work behind the scenes. So the last role I think I had on set was holding up an umbrella. Um, just to keep the camera warm. It was, it was, you know, I, I worked to my guns. Um, <laughs> so it's been really good, as well as being like a production assistant and being behind the scenes as well as on set as well. It's been a really, really invaluable experience. And I think it's, it's really, really awesome to see a show. Lots of Cardiff, lots of Doctor Who. I think, I think, it, I think it's gonna be good, but I'm biased, so. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, Bradley is, he's sarcastic. He's oh, he's a bit of a pleb. Uh, he's a he's a wind-up merchant. He's scruffy, and unfortunately, I also find myself relating to him as well. <laughs> as you can see, stained clothes and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's you know, I'm dying for a haircut as well, which I can't do until we finish filming. So that's it's like a mane in this weather. But yeah, he's um, he's he's a good friend to have once he's your friend, but if you met him in the street, you'd probably want to walk straight past him and not spend any time with him at all. <laughs> to be honest, so yeah, Bradley. <laughs> More methods, yeah. I think you've kind of already got some of your flyers there, but just for everyone here, when is the series hopefully ready for launch? The series will start halfway through the Series 9 of Doctor Who. It will go online live October the 31st. And where can we all see it? You can see it. <laughs> nice. Nice segue. I didn't even know you were going to ask me to say the web address. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Uh, it's thehoovians.tv, October the 31st. Excellent. But come on, check out the production diaries, check us out, say hello.